Wait a second, this is a Paul Feig movie? What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another review. Today I'm going to be discussing A Simple Favor, directed by Paul Feig, out of all people, and starring Blake Lively, Anna Kendrick, and Henry Golden. This movie's based off the novel by Darcy Bell, and it's about these two girls, Stephanie, Anna Kendrick, and Emily, played by Blake Lively. And Emily asks Stephanie to do one favor every single time she asks her to do these favors for her. Take care of her son, pick her up her son from school. Until one day, Emily goes missing and Stephanie is finding out where she went. It becomes this kidnapping mystery. And this girl, Emily, she may be beautiful on the outside, but this girl's got some very dark pasts. Now, when I found out that Paul Feig directed this movie, I was very curious. Now, Paul Feig is the comedy guy. And I liked Bridesmaids. I think I've only seen it once, maybe. I definitely need to revisit it. Spy was pretty good, and I'm one of the defenders of Ghostbusters. I didn't completely trash that film. I felt people were a little too harsh on it. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't perfect. And so I went into this film very curious and anxious. I, you have two great actresses, Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick, and a very Gone Girl type of film. And what did I think of A Simple Favor? I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. It's not perfect. Definitely not flawless. It did have some issues, but it did have some good things. Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick were definitely the best performances, especially Blake Lively. Blake Lively is one of those actresses that's definitely well known, but she doesn't seem like she's hit her full potential in her previous films. And I thought she was good in The Shallows, the one shark movie she was in. And this is the film that shows Blake Lively is a great actress. She was fantastic in this film. She's very mysterious, very interesting. It's very similar to Rosamund Pike in Gone Girl, like a very insane character, but gorgeous. And Anna Kendrick, too. She was fine. She gives her normal Anna Kendrick type of performance. I didn't think she was that fantastic. I thought she was fantastic in The Accountant with Ben Affleck. And here she goes to more of the serious, dramatic, black comedy routes. And I really hope she does more dramas. I thought she was good. Henry Golden's also in this movie. He was in Crazy Rich Asians. I thought he was pretty good in Crazy Rich Asians. And in here, he's... He's fine, he's not amazing, he doesn't outshine Blake Lively or Anna Kendrick, and his character too has some ups and downs. Paul Feig's direction is actually really good in this film. He definitely sets up a compelling mystery in the first two acts of the film, tries to get you to question like what really is about to go down. And I thought the first act in particular is the best act. The second act gets very similar to one movie, and the third act we'll get into later. But the first act... Paul Feig, in, he definitely took the novel and made it a very interesting thriller. And that's something I gotta give props to Paul Feig for. You know, coming into comedy and now into serious thrillers like this. He did a great job. I also really like the soundtrack in the movie. I thought the soundtrack was fantastic. It felt really pop to the beat and really sets up many scenes in the film. And the soundtrack definitely adds the intensity to the film. And that intrigue. The intrigue sets up certain scenes, and the intrigue is interesting because of the songs in the soundtrack. Those are the things I liked. What didn't I like about A Simple Favor? Uh, a couple things. Uh, the similarities to one specific movie, that is David Fincher's Gone Girl. The second act then becomes this kidnapping mystery, and Emily goes randomly missing. No one knows where she is. This is where it felt very similar to Gone Girl. The, the plot elements, the reveals, the twists and turns. It kind of feels like they were ripping off a couple of scenes from that film. Blake Lively's character in particular. Some things that happened with her kind of reminded me of Rosamund Pike in Gone Girl. And that was an issue for me because I've already seen it before. And it could have added a lot more originality to it. But at the same time, Blake Lively still gives a fantastic performance. I would have just liked to see something a little more creative. The plot of the movie has a very Hollywoodized, predictable aspect. If you've seen many kidnapping mysteries before, then you could kind of predict what's going to happen at the end. The ending is stupid. It really is stupid. Makes no sense. And 
it's predictable from start to finish. And I didn't like the ending at all. And many of my friends agree with me, and they just did not like the ending. It just felt like a typical Hollywood eyes way to end this type of film, and I wasn't surprised one bit in all honesty. But I can say that this film is worth checking out. If you're into these types of thrillers, and you want to see something different from Paul Feig, I would definitely check out A Simple Favor. It's not the greatest movie in the world, but it's definitely a good mystery and has fantastic performances from Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick, Henry Golden. I just didn't personally love the ending. Other than that, it was pretty good. On my rating scale, I'm going to give A Simple Favor a 3.5 out of 5 stars. This is a good movie. It's good. Go check it out. Go support it. And yeah, it's fun. So yeah, that was my review of A Simple Favor. Have you guys seen it yet? And what did you think of it? Did you love it? think it was okay or did you absolutely hate it thank you guys as always for watching this review and if you guys liked it give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe today for more content all my social media links are in the description down below click that notification bell on your way out and i'll see you guys in the next video bye